Hi, this is Senator Rand Paul with an update from Washington. Last week, for a few hours, your government shut down. The sun rose and the world went on, and government is back open. But the reason and the message behind it remains. The Senate was set to vote on a 700-page bill that added over $500 billion in new spending to our already out-of-control debt. It was a massive and destructive bargain struck by the leaders of both parties where both got to blow up the spending caps they'd agreed to just a few short years ago. I simply ask for one thing in this broken process, a 15-minute vote on whether the spending caps should or should not be broken. I think that's the least we could ask for. The furor this set off among big government advocates in Congress and in the media, well, you would think I had asked them to shut down forever, but that wasn't what this was about. No, I didn't want them to shut down the government at all, not really. I simply wanted them to act like the spending matters, like the huge debt that we're creating matters, like the voices of the people elected to serve matter, like the process matters. They demanded I take it or leave it. Well, I chose to leave it. I wasn't elected to be anyone's rubber stamp. I wasn't elected to allow business as usual, whether it be out of control spending or out of control rules to stifle debate and votes among the duly elected members of the Senate. Our debt is $20 trillion and growing, and our party seems to only want to be fiscally conservative when they're in the minority. We now control the House, the Senate, and White House, and we should stand for less government, less spending, and less debt. Instead, they passed a massive increase that would make President Obama blush. You know, I hope this causes fiscal conservatives across the country to pay attention to how much debt we're accumulating, to not accept just anything because it comes from a GOP Congress. I hope this makes conservatives across the country realize that right now they aren't getting what they voted for in Washington. It's not too late, but in Washington, nothing moves unless it's pushed.